Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Modern Warfare Remastered in Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the MP44 Assault Rifle, and it's going to be a much shorter episode than usual because this is the last assault rifle you unlock in the game. It's kind of a joke assault rifle because it's not really a modern weapon. It was probably the first ever true assault rifle, and it has no attachments, which kind of limits my analysis of the weapon. And it's not like a super amazing gun. It's not great or competitive by any means. It's not bad. It's extremely fun to use, but it's not like one of those make or break kind of weapons, so I'm not going to focus on it a ton. The damage is 40 up close, and it'll decrease down to 30 at a distance, meaning that it will take between 3 and 4 shots to kill, or 3 or 4 shots to kill without stopping power, which is the same as the AK-47, and you're going to see this sort of uh, comparison repeated many times throughout the episode, because statistically speaking, it is extremely similar to the AK-47. When you do run stopping power, it'll increase up to 56 and 42 respectively, making it a two or three shot to kill weapon depending on how far away you are and most of the time it's gonna be two. We'll talk about the range in just a second. Headshots are the standard 1.4x damage which means they're only useful at extreme ranges or perhaps without stopping power. Very few people run the weapon without stopping power which we'll talk about why in a minute but overall I just do not recommend going for headshots on the MP44 with the exception of unlocking your camos. One of the good things about the gun, probably its true redeeming attribute, is the stopping power two-shot range is a colossal 45 meters, which is the same two-shot range as the AK-47 or the M16. So it can really just drop people up to very impressive ranges with that two-shot kill ability. But that being said, the weapon does have multiple weaknesses, the most noticeable of which is that its rate of fire is only 600 rounds per minute, making it the slowest fully automatic weapon in Modern Warfare Remastered. Not only the slowest in the assault rifle class, the slowest in the submachine gun class, and the slowest in the light machine gun class. It is just a very slow firing weapon, which means its theoretical mathematical time to kill is going to be moderate to slow, unfortunately. It's not very competitive in the time to kill category. Category. However, due to the fact that it can get two shot kills and the first two shots often don't kick that much, it's going to feel nice. It'll feel better than its actual mathematical performance, so I don't think too many of you are truly going to hate this weapon, but just keep in mind it's not like a good one to pull out for GBs or any like really serious matches. Aim down sights time, sprint distance, reload, swap in and out, hip fire, all of those are identical to pretty much all of the other assault rifles, or an easy way to think about it, they are exactly identical to the AK-47, so it's kind of like a, a precursor to that weapon. The MP44 does have low idle sway, which is great. It won't drift back and forth. It makes it very easy for you to acquire targets. However, the recoil is kinda high. Thankfully, the kick is fairly predictable, though. It's mostly vertical recoil, which I usually find to be very easy to deal with. Most players would agree with me, but the recoil is high and the overall accuracy is somewhat low. That being said, I find the best way to use the weapon is to burst fire with it. Most of the time when I get ahead of myself and I go full-on automatic spraying, I miss like crazy and it's terrible. However, if I'm patient and I take my time and do a little two and three shot burst at long ranges, it works works much better than I ever really would expect it to, and you see that mostly in the gameplay here. I'm going, I'm kind of tap firing the weapon. It's how I would recommend you use it. And overall, the MP44 is just not a great weapon, but it is extremely satisfying to use. It's not better than any of the other assault rifles in hardly any way, and it's not even better than many of the submachine guns, but there's something about the design, the animation, the sound, the fact that you're bringing a World War II gun into the future, and that it can two-shot that makes it feel more competitive than it really is. It's just so satisfying. I just absolutely love seeing the MP44 and the kill feed next to my name. It just, and I know it drives people bananas when they get killed by this gun. I just want to go, mmm, yes, MP44. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't tell you to use it if you're really trying to win a game or MLG or anything like that. And since it has no attachments, because it was manufactured near the very end of World War II, there's no red dot, no extended mags, no ACOG site, no silencer, nothing. 
Uh, you just have to run it raw, and I think it's best with stopping power and steady aim. Stopping power obviously gets you the two-shot kills, and steady aim, because I do have a tendency to hip fire people and kind of flank with it, it's equally viable for you to run with deep impact. That can be very good as well, so you can punch through objects and get a lot of wall bank kills, but personally, I just prefer steady aim. Guys, that's all for this short in-depth episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. This is the very end of the assault rifle reviews, and the next episode is going to be much longer because we're going to be moving into sniper rifles. Drifter out.